Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to transcribe music using NoteFlight software. By transcribe I mean that I'm going to play music on an attached MIDI keyboard and NoteFlight is going to write the notation for me on the staves on the computer screen. In order to uh, do this I set up my score initially. I uh, give it the title and uh, set the tempo to something comfortable and then I will click in the first bar and the um, of the treble clef and the first bar of the bass clef to indicate where I'm going to start. I'll click the transcribe button. Uh, the transcribe options will pop up over here and I will click on the options button here. I'll set a two bar count in. I'll tell it that I'm not going to be using any tuplets. I will turn off echo notes so I can clearly hear the beat. I will split the staves at B3. I could set that higher or lower here by clicking on these buttons. But B3 and all notes below will go in the bass clef staff. And C4 and all notes above will go in the treble clef staff. I can set the fastest note that I'm going to be playing. And in this particular example, I'm going to be playing a quarter note as the fastest note. I'll make sure that my metronome is turned down. And when I'm ready, I hit the start button to begin the transcription process. And then I will click the Done button to sh tell it that I'm finished uh, entering notes into the computer. In this particular instance, it was, I was not able to hear myself playing. That's a little bit unusual. Most of the time I can. You'll notice that uh, NoteFlight mm -hmm. did a very good transcription, not perfect. If I just double this note, and mm -hmm. double this note, mm -hmm. and double this one, and double this one. Mm -hmm. It actually looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, there's still a couple notes missing in the treble clef up mm -hmm. here. It's not, not far from being correct. All right, so here I'll just click on this missing note and type the letter name. Click on this missing note and type the letter name. Click on this missing note and type the letter name. And click on this note and tell it to double that note value. And now I have completed my transcription. Let's listen to it and see what it sounds like. should be a note, a doubled note value instead of two uh, notes centered there. Um, let's see, the other thing I should tell you is that NoteFlight can actually transcribe much more complex music than this. Uh, you just have to set your tempo nice and slow and make sure you've got your subdivisions correct. The other thing too is that if NoteFlight creates more errors than it is worthwhile to fix, then you may want to just go ahead and enter the notes in one at a time. NoteFlight does a simple step entry with its keyboard as well. For example, I'm going to play in some notes here. And those were not played in in real time. I just uh, started playing on the notes, on the note values there. And you can see that that process is also fairly quickly. And down here in this staff, you can actually play in chords if you want to. Make sure I've got the right note value going there. Oh, that actually was, if you make a mistake, hit the backspace delete key and play the notes again. And since Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is in ABA form, we can just copy and paste these four bars down into the last four bars of the uh, piece, and we have the entire song done. So that was fairly quick and painless. Thank you very much. If you have questions, drop me a line. Get out there and transcribe some music and have fun.